On this edition of HDTV, we have your Phil Flapjacks, Marvel Movie Mania, and a pre promenade prompt. The news starts now. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Hello everybody, and welcome back to this edition of HTTV. I'm the incredible, invincible, armored, friendly neighborhood Avenger Dallas. And I'm simply the Revenger, Ned Bigby. In lines one and two, we're going to have chicken smackers with Asian or so sauce. Line three, we're going to have soup and salad bar featuring broccoli soup. Line four is going to be sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit and personal pan pizza. And line five, as you could probably guess, going to be closed. And happy birthday goes out to Elena Barton. Now over to sports with the man himself, Nick. Thanks, Dallas. I would have sports results from last night as every spring sports team was scheduled to compete except for track and field, and they all happened to get canceled. However, there are a few games that are still on for today. Despite the varsity baseball team's game versus West Lafayette being canceled, the softball team is still, being, is still scheduled to take on North Montgomery at 5.30, and the girls' tennis team is also scheduled to square off against North Montgomery at 5.30. If you haven't read it yet, make sure to go to the Frankfurt Hot Dog Athletic website or the Hot Dog Chatter to read my first article on Senior Spotlight Christian Lopez. The article goes in depth about Christian Lopez's competitive mentality, his leadership, and how he has incorporated what is most important to him, family, with his teammates on the diamond. This is just the first of five senior spotlights that I will be doing, as I will be publishing a senior spotlight for all five seniors on the baseball team. That's it for sports. Dallas, take it away. There's only one more week till prom. Remember, you need you need a sign permission for you need sign permission forms to in order to purchase prom tickets. So don't wait until the last minute. Believe me, I know what that's like. Tickets are on sale until 2.45 next Friday, May 3rd. The next morning, head to the 4-H building at the fairgrounds for, for the 67th annual Kiwanis Pancake Breakfast. The breakfast takes place between 6.30 and 10 a.m. Tickets are six dollars in advance and seven at the door kids five kids five and under get in for free ladies and gentlemen today is the day to go see avengers endgame if if you if you haven't done if you haven't purchased your tickets then purchase your tickets now for those who are interested in april thir april 30th is the last day to sign up for your student ambassadors for student ambassadors in the office. Okay, kids, you're looking at your last chance to see me tell you to go see Leap of Faith. If you missed the reference there and you're a bit disappointed, then go see the show to see the full glory of Reverend Jonas Nightingale and, of course, Garl. We're going to try to make it rain so you can, and quite frankly, should, congregate to watch it precipitate. You have two more chances to see it, those being tonight and tomorrow night at 7. Student admission is $5, adult admission is $8, below kindergarten age admission is free, and admission of faith to wrap up the night is priceless. Seniors, today is the last day to nominate yourself or your peers for prom, king, and or queen. So make sure to fill out that Google form. And again, remember to pick up your cap and gown from the main office if you have yet to do so. Now, as a message to next year's seniors, a kind of sort of follow up on yesterday's WEC story, being awarded the WEC allows you to better allows you better opportunities with universities and employers after graduation. Again, to the winners not only here but around the county, congratulations. For more specifics on the machinations of the award and related program, check the video in the chatter. That's it for HGTV today. Please like and subscribe and watch for more news and updates while I leave you with this final quote to end the run of Avengers Endgame quotes from the legend himself. Stan Lee. Excelsior! And remember, avoid spoilers, including those that are put into your sabotage script. Even if no they're one. not just put there and not legit, you go in with expectations and fears that you don't need. Anyway, have a good day. <laughs>